Are you looking for logic in a relationship with a crazy maker, a drama king or queen, or a narcissist? Are you used to people who actually keep their words, show up when they say they will, don't disappear on you, answer your uh, emails or your texts, or send you emails and texts on a reasonable basis so that you can stay in good touch? Are you used to people who actually, normally in your life, can be trusted? When they tell you something is true, they're not lying. They're simply telling you the way it is in their perception. And don't blame you and don't blame other people and actually, basically, are pretty stable. And now you've got this relationship and it may not be the first time you've attracted this, it may be a pattern, but you're involved with someone who really, despite so many marvelous attributes that it's actually sad or poignant to you that they can't be trusted, they're not stable, they don't show up on time, they often contradict what they've said with their uh, unpredictable actions, and perhaps they are turning on you after having been incredibly affirming of you in the beginning. And or they're telling you that you're putting them down, that you're trying to ruin their chances for happiness, that you're boring, you're not attractive anymore, that you've let yourself go, all sorts of other things that gaslight you, that negate your uh, opinions and your uh, intelligence and your sexiness and your femininity if you're a woman or your masculinity if you're a man. It goes on and on. When we look for logic in a relationship with one of these particular people, we are setting ourselves up for a nightmare. We're setting ourselves up for misery. We're setting ourselves up for an extended period of time when we don't know where we are or what we're doing because we're so confused. The confusion, however, is not of the narcissist making, really. When you truly analyze it, the light will come on. It's of your making because something about this person has been energetically, in most cases, triggering a memory. Often it's a cellular memory. Often it's a memory from very early childhood of somebody who behaved in a way that created a sense of insecurity and instability in you as a little kid who was trying their best to please, trying their best to do a good job, whatever the job was, whether it was uh, chores around the house or homework or uh, just generally being cute and looking adorable, being shown off by your by your family and made to feel sometimes like you were kind of a commodity, shown off at parties. <laughs> oh my goodness, all the stories you could tell, all the experiences that we've all had like that. And they set us up for people sometimes who are crazy makers. I don't like labeling people and yet to do these videos and have any level of clarity, sometimes I do have to do that. The overall theme of this particular uh, video, really, is about how dangerous it can become for your well-being and your peace and your harmony of your life if you start off with the old yes, <laughs> the old belief system that says if I behave in a logical way, if I am where I say I'm going to be at a certain time, if I call when I say I'm going to call, if I tell you I love you now, I'm going to love you 10 or 15 or 50 years from now. Therefore, here's the belief, my mate or my prospective mate is going to behave the same way. You know, it's kind of like when you lie about your age on a, uh, an online dating profile or you lie about your age on your driver's license. You may think you're, you're fooling people, but what are you really doing? You're saying to them, there's a part of myself that I don't accept. There's a part of myself that I'm rejecting, which is my age. 
because there's some part of me that feels I'm old, I'm over the hill, or whatever form it has taken for you. And there's a part of you that is thinking that you're going to get away with this. We know that energetically, a lie is a lie. And if you lie and you start a relationship based on that lie, what's going to happen? Where is the trust going to go? How are you going to build on that foundation of sand? You're not. And so, once again, I would say to you, stop looking for logic in relationship to these people. And if they've rejected you, if they've let you go, if you're no longer the flavor of the day or the month or the year, however long it's been, if you look and try to find out in your mystification what was their thinking, what did you do, what did you not do, if you recriminate about it, if you keep going over it and over it again, do you know what's going to happen? You're going to upset yourself. You're going to take your beautiful life force, your prana, your chi, your energy of life, and you're going to deplete it over and over again. I know this one. Personally, as well as professionally for the last 30 years working with people who have come with, to me with these problems. So what to do? Here is a golden nugget from my heart to yours on this subject. Golden nugget number one I'd love to share with you today. Stop looking for logic where logic does not operate. Golden nugget number two, understand that simply because you're trying to live with integrity does not mean that everybody in your life can meet you on that level. And it is up to you to set the standards of what is and isn't okay with you and stick to those standards. Don't allow much deviation or you're going to wind up with a less than situation that you're trying very hard to put a good face on. Yet deep in your heart, I think you know that it's not making you happy. And unless professional help is agreed to with this partner or prospective partner, it's highly unlikely that the situation will improve. Next golden nugget. Are miracles possible? Are there spontaneous healings in these situations? Sometimes, yes, there is. Yes, there are, I should say. I believe in miracles. I am all about miracles. I wouldn't be alive today in this body and in this lovely place if miracles didn't happen. And one of the miracles in your life right now may be a change in perception where you know your own value enough to say, I need my power and my focus and my attention for my own healing and revitalization. And you resurrect your decision and determination to allow into your life only those people where it's a mutually loving, mutually trusting, mutually attracted, mutually stable situation where there is real devotion and real loyalty and real love. And that can lead to a co-creative relationship where there is joy. There will not be any joy if you're in a situation where you're being approach avoidance treated, where you're being gaslighted perhaps, where you're being slighted, put down, embarrassed, treated as less than, and ultimately set up for rejection. Let go, also next golden nugget, of the need to be right, or the need to make sense of what's happened. Go within and ask yourself, from your own heart, and your own soul, where all the answers reside. What was the gift I brought this person into my life to teach me? Because usually once we get the gift, once we really get the lesson, a lot of times we don't have to repeat it anymore. Which frees us to have a great relationship with ourselves and the universe and all the other love that's showing up in our lives and eventually after a healing period. When we know we don't need a partner, we may be open and receptive to a healthy partnership, the partner shows up. Because remember once again, next golden nugget, the healthy partner that you're seeking is seeking you. 
and it is by faith that we receive our good. Keep your eye on the goal. Don't give up, don't give in, don't lower your standards. Your high standards need to be raised, not lowered. You're worth it. Please remember. If you would like to be in touch with me or subscribe to my channel, Beverly Banner Brown MS, I'd be happy to have you on board. Many of you have been joining, subscribing, it's free of charge. If you want to reach me, if you want a consultation, if you feel that I can help you in your process of freeing yourself and being able to move on, getting from this point where you may be feeling like an endless loop tape trying to make sense of something that doesn't make sense to begin with, please get in touch with me. My email address is coachhq at gmail.com. And you're more than welcome to leave me commentaries right on the YouTube channel screen. Until next time, I'm wishing you love. Great, enduring, sweet love. First within yourself, then within the universe, and then. And only then, when everything is in perfect balance with the partner of your dreams. Bye for now. And many blessings.